A Japanese woman running a sex worker dispatching business sued the state on Wednesday, saying its blanket exclusion of the sex industry from a cash handout program to support small companies hit by the coronavirus is discrimination banned under the Constitution. Here's a summary of the article. A woman running a sex worker dispatching business sued the state on Wednesday, saying its blanket exclusion of the sex industry from a cash handout program to support small companies hit by the coronavirus is discrimination banned under the Constitution. Businesses in the sex industry, such as companies dispatching sex workers and operators of love hotels, or accommodations for sexual activities, are not covered by the scheme. The lawyers said the woman suspended her business between mid-April and late May in accordance with business closure requests from the local authorities to contain the virus spread. As a result, her business saw its revenue dive 80% in April and 70% in May from year before levels. When she and other sex business operators met with an official at the small and medium enterprise agency in June to ask for their companies to be included in the handout program, the official rejected their request, saying such businesses have previously been excluded from public support, such as ones following natural disasters, and that the agency merely followed the past responses made by the state. Supporters of the plaintiff say the government feared possible public backlash in case it provides taxpayers' money to sex business operators, a stance they say will only deepen discrimination against the industry and its workers. According to the lawyers, the plaintiff files income tax returns and operates her business in compliance with laws regulating the sex industry. Yusuke Taira, the chief of the team of lawyers defending her, has said it is irrational for the state to not provide benefits to sex industry businesses across the board, including those abiding by the law, calling the state capitalizing on public discrimination against the industry. This post received a score of 49,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Hot damn I would love to be a fly on the wall at that hearing. It would be especially good if she recognized some of her clients on the other side of the table. I just picture everyone at the hearing using silly voices. Half the defense is wearing Groucho masks. LMFAO this shit is gold. Mr. Kiyosamo, would you say that Madam Sex Worker Ladies Vagine helped with your chronic corona depression? Mr. Kiyosamo, oh hell yeah boi. Cool. Is Mr. Kiyosamo Flava Flav? Oh hell yeah boy. Cool. Yes thumbs up. Greater than as a result. Her business saw its revenue dive 80% in April and 70% in May from year before levels. So I guess they were considered essential workers if they never stopped. Japan couldn't constitutionally enforce a lockdown. Everything was just a, strong, request to suspend business to help prevent the spread. Initially, the red light districts were widely reported as the leading cause of COVID clusters. The Constitution doesn't forbid a lockdown, Abe just didn't want to enforce one. His mates in the business sector had vested interests. Like Article 22 and 31 are probably the strongest arguments for preventing a lockdown. Though if you find a better article that I've missed feel free to correct me. You've made me think I should go read the Japanese Constitution for some reason. This should be a very important issue in Japan. The sex parlors and sex worker dispatch companies are run as legal companies according to Japanese laws, yet due to some public outcry, these companies are exempt from government handouts during pandemics such as COVID and earthquakes etc. Japan really needs to accept whether they are legal companies or not and support them properly if they are. Very good point. I bet they pay taxes. They do. He knows. He engineered Japan. Isn't sex work illegal in Japan? I was under the impression that it was a Yakuza-run operation. Sex work is illegal, but things like oral and anal aren't legally considered sex, only penis in vagina. So when you pay for a sex worker in Japan you're only officially paying for everything up to but not including penis in vagina sex. This is one of the many loopholes. And yes, it's often Yakuza-related. There was also a time that the video game industry was heavily influenced by the Yakuza. It was because the Japanese public viewed games as a bad time-wasting industry. This made it seem like a bad investment for investor and so on. And usually when you scare of legitimate business partners what's left is criminal enterprises, enter the Yakuza. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. 
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.